Turin is a city which covers most of my interests: the wine regions, Italian coffee, and National Museum of Film. As a long traveler, I found myself like a human camera, recording what I've seen in their local life, rather than take pictures at tourist sites. It is the place where coffee and food never disappoint me, even if randomly picked from a pile of strange Italian names. I felt quite alien, as I'm the only non-Italian speaker with Asian look in most occasions. In Turin, nothing seems intentionally prepared for tourists. It is a journey to spectate and feel the local lifestyle. Standing and talking in a cafe, have a shot of espresso, then rinse with sparkling water. It was called morning in Turin. However, travel alone in the city is strange for me. Means challenge. The mistaken accommodation and difficult of communicate all attributes to disappointing experience. I have to give up where I originally dreamed to go, the Barolo wine region in Elba. Close to Turin, since it is already so difficult to communicate in Turin, how can I hope to make it in a more localized village like Barolo? It is a pity for me to give up my wine trip, but still part of my experience. The unplanned long journey allows me to make decision fully by my own, and also enables much unexpected happens. That is exactly what impressed me: how I record my experience of journey as a human archive, no matter happy or bad it is.